And now to electoral matters. The Kogi State Resident Electoral Commissioner, Professor James Akbam, has said all is now set for the governorship election and senatorial rerun in Kogi West. A correspondent, Shego Juma, reports that security has been beefed up on the roads leading to Lokoja and the state office of the Independent National Electoral Commission. Walking through the street that leads to the INEC state office makes you wonder if this is a state preparing for something other than an election. But that is exactly what it is gearing up for. Kogi State has proven to be a volatile state and INEC and the police are not leaving anything to chance. Uh, well, well, I'm feeling safe now. Though, of course, I don't have to take anything for granted. And so, I also make efforts to make sure that we stay safe. Somebody just talked about what happened in Cali some years ago. And so, we're not taking anything for granted. Security is a big factor in this election in Kogi State. I'm at the state office, of, just outside the state office of INEC actually, and in there, there is a fire truck. Well, that shouldn't raise any eyebrows, but four years ago, there was no fire truck provided. Getting into the street, at, at the beginning of the street, uh, the department of police officers are there, they have sandbags in the middle, just before, some meters away from the INEC head of, uh, state head of uh, office also, there is another uh, detachment of policemen with sandbags protecting uh, the road also. At this other side too, the same kind of treatment. More police officers monitoring activities, movements in and out of the street. So that gives you a sense of just how much they are taking security here. About 35,200 police officers have been drafted to Kogi State alone. The eyes of the world will certainly be on the election here and further afield in Bayelsa State. Uh, the people are going to come out in numbers and vote for the candidate of their choice. That uh, peace is going to be observed through the elections and uh, the process is going to go on according to plan. So these two elections provide opportunity to see uh, how INEC has been able to improve on the lapses that were observed, especially by foreign observers, even within INEC itself, because I know they've been conducting reviews. It must be said, however, that there are some who are not losing any sleep about the security situation here. Uh, to me, there's nothing, uh, uh, there's no issue concerning the issue of uh, security, because Kogi State is a very large state that has almost about uh, other six states in connection with other six states. The elections in Kogi State and Bayelsa State represent the first real test for INEC ever since it conducted general elections earlier this year. INEC has always maintained it will continue to perfect its processes and procedures. Saturday will determine if it has succeeded. From just outside the INEC State Office in Lokoja, Shegojumu, STV News.